Fresh Fresh and Duke. Yeah, we're right here with the homies from the six block. The future and rap, gangster rap, tiny winos 106. Uh, right here chilling and shit. About to uh, get at the homie Wish. See how he started with the rap game. What's cracking? What's cracking? Gangster Wish, the six block, triple six records. Right here chilling. Right here chilling at the homie Trez Pad. Drinking some beers. About to smoke a blunt. Let me get some carne asada going and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so how, how you started this rap shit? How you started getting on these tracks that are so famous now? <laughs> fucking, um... We just started fucking around, basically. Fucking, um... Now we're like 14, 15, fucking, um... Just, you know, everybody says they can rap and shit, so like, just fucking around like that. <clears throat> Bullshitting, freestyling with the homies and shit. Mm. But then, I really wanted to, like... Be able to write some shit down, you know what I mean? Fucking, um, I remember the homie Dopey and shit. Shouts out to Young Dopey locked up right now. Fucking, and I, I remember, you know, Lil G was rapping at that time also and shit. But, um, I got locked up, went to camp, got out. And I remember just still, I had wrote some shit down in camp, but when I got out, I just fucking spit it to the homies and shit. And I remember that for Dopey, I already fucking with Double Nine by that time. Lil G was already Double Nine too. And, uh, fucking, I remember the homie Dopey telling me, like, well, you can rap, you know? And with the wood, he just, I'm gonna take you to the studio. So he, he took me to, to over there to uh, down there from Double Nine Record Studio and fucking we made a track and shit. We were young as fuck. And from there, shit, I fucking liked it and fucking wrote shit down all the time. And then started recording. My, I was recording my shit in a little karaoke machine at that time, right there at the pad. That's all my old tracks and shit. All, all that shit is karaoke machine, man. Fucking recording a karaoke machine is a bitch, dog. It ain't no, you gonna put in your hook. It ain't no, you gonna put in your verse and get punched in. It's just, I rapped the whole fucking track. Fucking all through, from the beginning to the end, dog. Like that. Fucking verse, hook, verse, hook, the whole shit like that, dog. That was the bitch, you know? So now that we got the whole little punch in and whatever, but that's how I started, dog. Just chilling in the hood. And then after that, just wanted to take my shit to the next level and started writing shit down. And there it goes there. Yeah, that's what's up. So now we're gonna uh, focus on the homie Little Man, bringing the beats. Uh, see what he's talking about. What's up, Little Man? So, well, basically, me, I just started off fucking, fucking around trying to make beats, you know what I'm saying? Because I love music, you know, especially good music. I started fucking around with you know. I always, when I get to a beat, you know what I mean, like, when a song, I always wanted to hear, like, damn, dude, how the fuck is that shit made? You know, I came with Bob, you know, I'm going to start pressing on the block, you know, getting a little money, buy me some equipment, started fucking around trying to do what I do. You know, from there, this shit popped off. Show the homie that you know what I got. Started working little by little. You know, with some little production shit. You know what I mean? I mean, that's how you know. That's what he pretty much did. You know? So that's how you assemble the 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 big banger team, yeah. doing the classic hits for the hood. Yeah, that's right. Shit, you know? So what y'all got planned for this coming up year and shit? You know, everybody wants to know when y'all dropping them hits on the album. And when y'all gonna do some future uh, videos? So, uh, what you guys got cooking and shit? Everybody wants to know a little bit of that. Well, first of all, we're trying to find the right track to make a motherfucking video. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody knows where the fuck we're from. Um, I'm just trying to take it to a level where everybody knows where the fuck we're from already. You know, so they don't want to hear the hood blasted all over the track. You know, even though that's what we're known for making, like straight hood shit. Fucking, I love making hood music, you know, that's what the fuck I do. I mean, cause that's all I fucking know, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and rap about no clubs and no bitches and no money, cause the motherfucker ain't got it, you know what I mean? Motherfucker just knows the hood, so of course that's all I'ma rap about. And motherfuckers don't listen, cause that's all I do is rap about the hood, you know, but I'm just trying to take it to the next level now, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we're just trying to, we're gonna make a good film and track and fucking try to get that and make that video to that track, you know. Um, the thing is, we all in-house, man. We ain't going reaching out to nobody, you know. Fucking uh, paying money here, paying money there. We ain't doing none of that, you know. The homie got the studio. I got the raps. Recently, I just, we just got a little rascal in there, you know what I mean? And um, 
Now we're pushing that triple six record shit, you know what I'm saying? That's straight tricky hood shit. Like but like me and Lil Rask were talking about, we, we gotta take it to the next level, man, you know? And that's what we're gonna do. We, we fucking recording shit. Uh, we stashing everything, cause that, that was our problem. We were recording shit and just fucking burning it to a CD right away and giving it to the homies. And that's why the CD or the mixtape never got fucking released, you know? Cause we were just shooting out to everybody. We're just, as soon as we make a track, we want the homies to hear it and fucking motherfuckers starts burning in, and other starts burning in, and it just goes everywhere. So by the time we do have a CD, it's like everybody already heard all those tracks already, you know what I mean? So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna record, we're gonna keep that shit low key. And that's how we're gonna get that CD, you know? Um, we're on the XA Valley 2, me and Young Dopey on the XA Valley 2. Fucking uh, Lil Rascals on the XA Valley 2. That shit, it's already done, but you know. I don't know, I guess we're having technical difficulties. You want to call it that. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's done, you know, and we're on it. And I know that shit's going to be, if not better than the XA Volume 1, you know. But uh, that's what we're, we're going to make a video, you know. We'll get the video going on. We just got to find the right track. Um, I hope y'all like that fucking my, me and Bill Rascals fucking uh, mouth full of demons, you know. That shit was some straight different shit for me, you know. That's a different flow I used to like. I, I like to rap fast, I like to rap with some junky beat, you know, and that beat, me and, me and Lil Rascal heard it, and we just knew that shit was gonna be like, straight crazy shit, and, 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 and different, you know, I so hope y'all like it, we got some other ones, you know, stopping and mobbing in my chip teams, that shit's gonna be a hit or two, that shit's a bad you know, but, uh, basically, we just, it's all hood shit, you know what I mean, I mean, shouts out to Lil G, Double Nine, I see you doing your thing, you got your videos going on and shit, you know what I'm saying, holla at a nigga. So now you know what's in store coming up 2012. You know the homies right here about to tear some shit up. They always have and they always will. You know, representing. These motherfuckers need their props. You know? So that's.